hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm doing a, another sinking funds update and this one is going to be my paycheck number two for march so i'm making a couple of changes and i'm actually going to be getting rid of one of my envelopes in my business binder so the one that I'm going to be getting rid of is the taxes one because I figured why have two when you can only have one and that'll just be part of my personal um, binder. So in this we have I think $70, right? Yeah, we have $70 in this. So let's count. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I'm just going to put this over here and just get rid of the binder. So that's one less binder that I need to worry about. It clicked in my head when I was paying my quarterly taxes for my business that maybe I should, you know, um, just have one binder instead of two. So that's what I did. So first things first, let's count our money. So I want to count to make sure like it's the amount that I need. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. So this is 180. And we have so many $5 bills. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. So this is 180 and this is 150. So that equals to 330. And then I have another hundred dollar bill let me just get that so now a hundred dollar bill will be making its debut into our sinking fund so i'm just gonna put that right there oh you can't see that i'm just gonna put it right here um i want to start incorporating big bills because we are filling up our envelopes really quickly and it's becoming a little bit thicker so i just want to start incorporating a hundred and more 20s inside of it instead of so many fives so let's start stuffing our envelopes so i'm going to start with my personal I'm just going to take out all of these So first things first, let's stuff our monthly subscription and I will be giving it $10. So right now we have $40 inside and let's check that. Okay, 20, 30, 40. Yes, we do. And we're going to put two fives inside of it. So all together... 20, 30, 40, 50 inside of our monthly subs. Again, forgive my handwriting. I'm not in like a position to even write on my iPad, but you know, it'll have to do for now. So um, again, I usually update these um, sometime before I make a new video so I won't be writing on this today so I'm just going to stuff this in here
in my taxes envelope, I'm going to be putting in 30. So I'm going to put 20 into fives into my envelope and it has 70 already inside of it. Let's double check that before we add any money into it. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then we add our 30. So now let's count. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 inside of our taxes envelope. And that snowball, I will be putting in a hundred, but I will be doing that with twenties. Right now, I have sixty inside, so twenty, forty, fifty, sixty. So I'm gonna take five twenties. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now let's count how much we have. 20, 40, 50, let's do that again, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm having a little bit of difficulty fitting all of this money inside. But that's our debt snowball. So we have 160 inside. And investing, I'm not going to be putting any money inside of this. I just transfer it directly to my Robinhood. So I originally had $80 and then I added 85 So inside of my Robinhood right now, I have 165 that up spending money I will give myself ten dollars so right now I have 60 inside of it let's count 20 40 60 and then ten dollars I know a lot of people actually use this as a like a cash envelope but i use it as a sinking fund because i like to just take out all of the funds at the end of the month because i just find it easier that way rather than going and withdrawing and then going and withdrawing because i mainly do use my um debit card i barely ever use cash so that's why i keep stuffing it instead of like paying with cash if that makes sense so we have $70 inside of our spending envelope. In beauty, I will be giving myself 15. So right now I have 65. I'm actually saving up for something um, that has to do with beauty. I won't tell you guys what it is. You guys will have to stay tuned because when I finish saving up for it, I will film a YouTube video. So let's give myself $15. And let's just count this money, make sure everything is correct. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we have $80 in our beauty envelope right now, which is amazing because what I want to save up for is pretty expensive. So I'm glad that I'm gradually saving up for that. I can't wait to show you guys what it is. Okay, so for my clothing envelope, right now I have $20. Remember, I started this one last week. So yeah, we only have $120 in here. And I'm going to give myself $10. So 
so we have $30 inside of our clothing envelope I eventually want to just save up so I can go on like a big like shopping spree um, because I really don't spend a lot of time buying clothes I usually buy makeup or you know something that I really don't need so I want to gradually save up to buy more clothes and expand my wardrobe so now we have $30 inside clothing for gifts slash Christmas I'm going to give myself $10. Right now I have $10. So two fives. And now we have $20 in our gifts slash Christmas envelope. I can't wait to see how much I actually save for this because gifts can honestly be so expensive like when the holiday seasons come around and if it's someone's birthday like truly i like to take my time and like look for meaningful gifts even if it's like expensive i will splurge so this envelope is really good for that so i have 20 in here in a dream car right now i have $30 and I'm giving myself another 10. Oh my god. I feel like saving up for my dream car which I won't reveal either is I feel like saving up for that will be so lengthy. Hopefully I can start stuffing my envelope a little bit more but with a minimum wage paying job it'll take some time. So for my dream car envelope I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 dollars down, about forty thousand dollars more to go. In education, I will be stuffing $10, but right now I have $30 inside of it. Let's count this money. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm going to give myself two fives. So let's count again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. $40 in education there's so many things that I want to do with this money like there are so many courses that I want to take I love learning and I really want to take some more business classes to basically to expand my knowledge on business and the world of business so most likely that's where this money will be going but i also want to take more medical classes so let's see how this goes hopefully i can save up enough money to take all the classes that i want because honestly knowledge is something like so powerful and i just want to keep knowing more so that's why i started this envelope so we have 40 dollars in here as well dream house also will receive 10 i know at the rate that i'm going my dream house will probably come when i'm 70 but trust me when i say saving up for this is gonna make my life so much easier in the future so right now i have 30 dollars as well in this envelope 5 10 15 20 25 30 i'm giving myself a 10 dollars making it 40 so let's count again 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 Giving is also receiving 10. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
so I pull this out. This envelope is another envelope that I started last week and it only has $10 inside. So I'm going to give myself 10 more. So 5, 10, 15, 20 has $20 inside of it. And I'm actually saving this money to give back to a charity. And I'm not going to reveal what charity just yet. I'm excited. I think you guys will get to know what charity I give back to by the summertime and I'm so excited it's something I've been wanting to do for a while but again saving up is something that I need to do for this so that's why I started my giving envelope emergency fund oh wait let me just update this this has twenty dollars emergency fund will be receiving ten as well and I also used some money from here the other day but I replenished it so in this envelope we should have a thirty dollars so twenty thirty so ten dollars so five ten let's count make sure it's forty twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty dollars in our emergency fund That's all for my personal binder. I can't wait to see how much I actually accumulated in these envelopes. I will add everything up at the end of this video and let you guys know. So let me just put it back. So this is how thick my personal binder is. Y'all, honestly, I started this, what, like, I think eight weeks ago? which is like two months and this is heavy i can't wait to de-stuff this and see what i'm left with because whatever i'm left with is honestly my savings although i i do have more inside the bank but i cannot wait to do that and see like my progress over time and i love making these videos because honestly seeing progress on something you've been struggling with forever is something that i really want to accomplish and i think this is my method to saving so now let's stuff the business envelope so the business i mean the business binder but the business binder it's honestly getting smaller and smaller because i'm taking out things that i really don't need anymore which one of them was the taxes envelope so let's start doing this so I took everything out and the first thing we were going to stuff is my monthly subs and in this envelope right now I have $50. So let's count this 20, 40, 50 and then it's going to get 10 more dollars. I don't know why these bills are so ugly but it's probably because I went to the teller instead of going to the ATM because none of the ATMs had money. So maybe that's why. And I'm just going to add this to my stash. And in my monthly sub envelope, I have 20, 40, 50, 60. For my inventory envelope, that will be getting $100. Right now it has $125, so I'm just going to count this for you guys. $20, 40 60 80 100 110 120 $125, and I'm just going to... Oh. And I'm just going to use this $100 bill to add to it. So I'm just going to count this again. 100, 
120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 210, 220, 225 in my inventory envelope. So let's update that. And I stuffed this so heavily, this paycheck, because I actually did buy more inventory and it did cost a pretty penny. So I'm just trying to replenish that. Oh wait, I forgot to put the fund paper inside. Okay, in ads, that will be receiving $10. Right now, I have $40. So, 20, 30, 40, and two fives will make 50. 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. And this is my ad envelope. For trademark, oh wait, let me just update this real quick. For trademark, I have 65 and I'm going to be adding $20. And this will also go towards like any payment for like getting an LLC or like any legal um, things I need to file, I will pull from my trademark envelope i most likely will be changing the name to this but as of right now i'm saving up to trademark my business name so let's add 20 dollars to our stash so 20 40 60 70 80 85 in our trademark envelope In pop-up shop, it will be receiving $20. I have $30 inside here already. And all of these are fives, yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And now when I add a 20, 20, 30, 40, 50 is inside of my pop-up shop envelope. In my website envelope, I have $30 inside. Again, all fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I will be stuffing $10. making it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 dollars. And if you guys know any website designers, please, please, please comment down below because I really want to like remodel like my entire website. That's why I have this envelope and I'm ready to pay like a pretty penny for it. That's why I've been saving up gradually because I really do want my website to have a better conversion rate. It's not bad right now, but I know that it can be better. So that's why I set up this envelope. So I have $40 in there. In professional picks, I'm going to be stuffing $20. 
So before the $20, it had 20, 30, 40, 50, which is correct. And adding that 20 will make it 70. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. And in new business, I will be stuffing $10. So right now it has $25. Let's check that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And $10 making 35. These bills are so crusty. Oh my god. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five in our new business envelope. And just write it down here. And that's it for our business binder stuffing. So this is how thick our business binder looks. And with time, most definitely, it will get bigger. It's not as big and as heavy as my personal binder, but it's just because I have more things inside of here. But look at that, guys. Look at that. So now I'm going to basically add up everything in my sinking funds and just tell you the total of what i have in my envelopes i'm just gonna pull out my handy dandy calculator so 50 plus 100 plus 160 plus 165 plus 70 plus 80 plus 30 plus 20 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 20 plus 40 plus 60 plus 225 plus 50 plus 85 plus 50 plus 40 plus 70 plus 35 we have one thousand four hundred and seventy dollars in our envelopes and that is how much i saved in two months like that is so good for literally like working your butt off at a minimum wage paying job i used to be so impulsive and literally pull out my debit card for everything because i thought i had that money inside of my bank account but now i'm saving and i'm so excited to save even more my goal for this year is to have five thousand dollars in my envelopes and i think i will be able to meet that goal and before i close out this video i just want to show you guys my nails i don't know how you guys feel about them i really 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 love them they're nice cute and simple and so far i've gotten so many compliments on them if you guys want me to keep doing my nails for my videos then please let me know because sometimes i don't do them but sometimes i feel like i should be doing them so just let me know and yeah guys i don't know if i'm going to keep any of the clips in but i did miscount so many times and i had to recount so many times and hopefully when i edit i didn't make a mistake on the final counting because that will honestly suck but yeah guys if you guys like this video then please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already turn on your post notifications so you guys will be notified every time i post a sinking funds video or come save with me video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye